Ellen and Howie here with a message about beneficiary designations on accounts. So you may wonder what happens to your account if you add a beneficiary. Some banks call it POD, which stands for pay on death. Some banks call it TOD, which stands for transfer on death. And some banks or investment companies call it ITF, in trust for. Beneficiary designations on accounts are an extremely important thing to know about. Many people forget about their beneficiary designations on their accounts, and when they consult with us to do their estate planning, not realizing that they have beneficiary designations, if we implement a plan that involves a revocable trust or a will, those beneficiary designations on the accounts will override the estate planning wishes of the individual that we are consulting with. So if you don't want your assets to go in a direction different than what is specified in your estate planning documents, then when you do your estate planning, it's really important to bring into the discussion how your accounts are set up and what beneficiaries have already been designated because it may be the case that you will want to change those once you're done with your estate planning documents. So just to put it in very simple terms, Make sure that whatever bank investment or other assets you have that you want to go when you die according to your will or your trust don't have beneficiary designations because if they do, then any of those accounts that name a beneficiary will go directly to that beneficiary and not according to your trust or will. And if you have any questions, we here at Elder Law Associates, Ellen Morris, Howie Crooks, we're here to help. Give us a call, come on in, and we'll help you through the process.